Hello, uh, in this recording, I'll be solving the following exercise. So, we need to sort distinct element of a Q. So, we need to write a function that sorts. I will uh, omit the word distinct because I will tell you later about it. So, the elements of a Q of an integer in such a way that the even elements are in the same order at the beginning of the Q. So, even elements are in the beginning and the odd elements are at the end of the Q. So they are giving us an example that suppose that this is the Q and uh, it will become like that. So let's see how we will work that. So we have a Q. So this is our Q. In our Q, this is the front element. And here is the rear. And we have 2, 5, 8, 3, 9, 6, 4, 1, 7. So in order to um, traverse uh, this Q, we need to uh, take the front element and then DQ and then take the front element and so on until DQ is empty. So we want the same Q at the end like this. So 2, it's an even. So I will enqueue it in the Q. 5 is odd. Look, I will place it at the end and in reverse order. So what I should do is that I will use a stack. I will push 5 here. I will take 8. 8 is even. I will enqueue it. 3 is odd. 9 is odd. 6 is even. 4 is even. 1 and 7. And then this queue is empty. Uh, and now I can uh, push enqueue all the elements from the stack. So I'll take 7. I'll pop it. I'll take the top and pop it and enqueue it. 1, 9, 3, 5. And I will end up with what is required. So, in order to solve that, we need a Q. We need the ADT Q and we need the ADT uh, stack. So, I have uh, wrote here the implementation of a Q and a stack. So this is the implementation of a stack, and then we have the implementation of the queue. I have chosen the static one. You can choose any implementation, any correct implementation. So for the type def, we have an array of uh, elements for the queue and two uh, indexes, and this is front and rear. For the, the stack, we have an array and a top. The element in both the stack is integer for now. I have chosen n and m here, the size of the array, to be distinct because uh, in some exercises we'll have these elements, these um, sizes different. So in order not to change the condition there, so I have chosen chosen n and m. And in case we have to change one of these, we will change it in the define function. So we are here in main, so we need to have uh, a queue. So let's first create a queue. So let's say q q, and then we have Q equal create a Q. So we need to create the Q. So in order to have an empty, an empty Q, what I will do is that I will enqueue all these elements. So let's see if I can copy. Okay. So let's say enqueue in the Q. So address of Q, the element 2. 2. I will copy it. So this is for 5, 8, 3, 9, 6, 1, 7. So 2, 5, 5, 8, 3, 3, 3, 9, 6, 4, 1. And we need also 7. I will write a function called print q just to know to see that it's correct. We will print the q and then we'll call a function called, for example, sort. So sort she, she, it needs to modify the q, so we'll need to give her an address for the q, and then again I will print the q. So let's first write the, the easiest function void print q. So it takes a q, normal q. So how we print a queue, we need to traverse uh, the queue. So we need to check if there's a front. So as long as there's a front, queue address of element. So we need to define an element here. And we remove it. So we say that the queue, the queue address of queue. 
because we need to modify it and then we'll print f percentage uh, let's say for d for d backslash t uh, of e and at the end let's print a uh, backslash n so there is no something uh, like uh, uh, lines and stuff in q because it's, it's difficult to place uh, those stuff so let's move now to the sorting part so i need to sort so void sort so there's no return value here because i need just to change the uh, elements in the queue so q address of q uh, star q because i need to modify the the queue i need to uh, modify it so what i should do is that i will loop over the queue so i will as long as there's a front element so here i, I will i should use the reference <clears throat> so i will dq the queue and then i will say if e modulo 2 equal equal to 0 if it's even so if it's even what should we do i should place it in the queue so i will not use the same queue i will use another queue auxiliary queue so auxiliary uh, sorry it's a queue aux <laughs> and we need a stack so let's <coughs> declare a stack here and we should not forget to create the queue and to create the stack so if it's uh, even i will push it i will enqueue it in the queue so enqueue in address of ox the element e otherwise if it's odd i will push it push in this stack which is address of as the element e and when we finish this loop it means that the queue queue is empty so what i should do now I will empty all the elements from uh, the queue ox in the, the queue uh, queue and then uh, the elements from the stack as into the queue so I will loop over the queue ox so as long as we have an element in ox I will remove the element from ox and I will enqueue it into queue so we need an address since queue is an address so this is enough so this is for the queue and then i will have one for the stack so as long as there's a top element <coughs> so as long as we have a top element in s i will pop s address of s of course and i will uh, i will enqueue the element e in s and this is it let's run this program and see if we have some errors so front it should be capital F run again front one more time run here too let's run it so let's see the output so we have two five eight three nine six four one seven so we have two let's copy this and see if it's correct so i will put it here so it's two eight six four seven one nine three five so our code is correct so let me again repeat so what we have done is that for the queue we have created two uh two adts one an auxiliary queue and one an auxiliary stack we have looped over the original queue we have dequeued each element and we have enqueued the even elements in an auxiliary stack and we have pushed the old elements into uh, into a stack so even in a, in, a, in a queue and old in a stack and then we have emptied all the elements from the auxiliary queue in the original queue and we have emptied all the elements in the auxiliary stack in the original queue so the distinct here uh, in the question is uh, it was used just in order to use the same queue not to define an auxiliary queue because if the elements are distinct you can try to to enqueue on the same queue but it's really uh, uh, too difficult to uh, to write the code because uh, uh, some some in some cases you don't have even elements or you don't have odd elements so you will end up in a very if and else if and else is not a uh, good example to, to, to start with. So we have chosen to 
remove the distinct here so just you have elements and we have uh, the solution so if you have any questions do not hesitate to comment on the video or send me any messages i'll try to answer you back and thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications